Hello everybody, it's Andrea, Healthy Lifestyle. How's everyone today? I um, just want to talk about hay fever today. I think lots of people um, are suffering with hay fever right now. And, and, and I suffer from it quite a bit as well. Um, not so much now as I used to do. Um, but you know, it's not pleasant, is it? You've got the, the runny nose, the sore eyes, and you can get hay fever in your throat and it starts getting sore. So it's not pleasant at all. Well, we've got sunshine outside, we've got summer, we want to be outside and enjoying it. We don't want to be inside sniffling and suffering. And I know a lot of people are probably taking antihistamines right now um, to try and to try and um, get your symptoms out of the way. So it's, it's, not, it's not much fun at all. So I just wanted to talk about a little bit about why you know we get hay fever and what we can do to try and get rid of some of the symptoms um, naturally instead of just taking the antihistamines all the time. So um, we have mast cells in our body and they're involved in um, healing us. They um, they play key the key players in our immune system, and inflammation in is what heals us and when we're sick and also our mast cell activations involved in allergic reactions um, it's in the nose, in the gut, um, in your skin uh, so it can cause things like asthma, um, eczema, hay fever and allergies um, so our mast cells release histamine and, and other inflammatory molecules um, needed for healing and also there's um, an enzyme in our gut called diamase oxidase and, and this is what's responsible for clearing out the histamine from our bodies. So if that enzyme's not working in our gut properly then we can get a build up of histamine and then we've got the allergies and we've got the hay fever. Um, so what can we do? Um, we want to keep, try and keep our gut healthy and keep our gut wall strong. So allergens um, aren't leaking into our bloodstream and causing an inflammation. Because inflammation plays a key part here. We want to keep inflammation down in our bodies. Um, and we can do a lot of that by cleaning up our diets, eating less processed foods, eating more fruits and vegetables, because vitamin C is really important for hay fever and allergies. Um, take some probiotics to keep our gut healthy. Cutting back on wheat and sugar that also helps um, and there's a, a supplement that you can take um, called quercetin and quercetin is really good for helping with hay fever and also nettle, stinging nettles um, and I've been looking for a product on the market um, for a while with quercetin and nettle uh, both together and, and I found a product here, I've just got this little just got my supplements here and I got them from a, an online company called iHerb um, and I order a lot of my supplements from there so if anybody's interested in, in, in getting some of the, the quercetin and nettle supplements um, to help with the allergies and hay fever then I'm, I'll put the link below this video and which will take you to their website and you can order some um, so if you don't want to try them let me know how you get on with them let me know how, you, how, how it's um, helping you um, so I hope that helps you a little bit um, talking to you a little bit about hay fever and allergies and, and why we get them um, so have a great day and I'll see you again soon bye for now